and gentlemen, welcome to the Cardano Community Podcast. As we head towards the end of 2020 and entering 2021, I just wanted to take the time to thank you for staying with us, for your support, you know, throughout the whole year, 2020. 2020 has brought many stuff for us. It has been very challenging, personally, for many of us as well. You know, we all globally had had to deal with this pandemic, COVID-19 pandemic. Some of us has had lost loved ones. You know, people that we knew, care about, or maybe someone that we've heard about or met once. Personally, I've had to lose a colleague that I really liked. Throughout the year, you know, we've seen governments taking measures to help the small businesses stay afloat. But throughout this all, the community, Cardano community had remained faithful. Throughout this all, the Cardano community had remained steady. And throughout this all, Cardano's development was not affected. 2020 was definitely a challenging year for many of us. You know, we've seen the birth of Shelly, stake pool operators, finally got the chance to mint blocks. You know, started to secure the network. Ada holders finally got the chance to start delegating their stake to stake pool operators of their own choice, of course. Real Ada. We've seen SBOs opening different, I mean, multiple stake pools. And we've also seen SBOs having to sh close their business down because they weren't able to make a block. But throughout this all, the Cardano development was steady. We've seen that IOG took just several parameters to control Cardano's process towards decentralization. The D parameter we've seen, we've seen the K parameter. Yes, the D parameter that governs the process towards decentralization. We've seen the K parameter goes go from 150 to 500 affecting the saturation level, whereby 220, 210 million was the saturation point, and that went down to, six, to 64, roughly 64 million. There's so many things that happened throughout the year. And yes, I am really thankful. I am, I am really thankful for every one of you who have stayed with us, who have supported us, because you know why? Cardano is dear to us. I've been with this project since 2007, since the end of 2017, and became very active in 2018. In 2019, I became an ambassador. And from that moment on, I've remained truthful to the project. You see me on Twitter, you see me on Telegram, you see me on, uh, on Reddit. Yes, and that's because I love engaging with you, the community. One thing I do want to mention also is that the Cardano Foundation stepped up their game throughout the year. The community managers became more active with the community, answering lots of pressing questions and handling difficult issues. Within Slack, we've seen how the community management from the, from the Cardano Foundation have had to deal with many different types of ambassadors, very opinionated ambassadors, you know, who had make things, well, not really out to make things very easy for them. And yes, the foundation who had to make difficult choices. We've also seen throughout the year, the ambassador program grow, you know, from just a few handful of ambassadors to currently we're over 50 ambassadors. You know, people who dedicate their time and effort and energy to bring you content to the community. You know, we have content creators, we have translators, yes, moderators. You know, all of us working to make Cardano great. But not forgetting IOG and Emergo, the ones who are actually carrying the heavy load. You know, when you're developing a global financial system is not easy. All eyes are on you. 
you know, you get a lot, you, you get criticized a lot because if you missed one deadline or if you do something that is not pleasing to someone, they criticize you. A lot of people had said, yes, Shelly will never launch because this thing, what they had with this hard fork combinator, that's just fake. It's not true. It won't work. But on the 29th of July, the, the switch was flipped. Yes, the hard fork combinator was a fact. And then after that, we never heard any, any of those critics say anything else. Where were they? Yeah. I guess what was proven there at that moment is that the years of science, the work that has been put into this project, prove that it is possible. Prove that the developers have the skills to make that what was theoretic possible. Bring them into code. I guess people, all of those critics didn't really understand um, the importance of peer review. You know, it's not just something theoretic, you know, because you have to really prove scientifically that something can be done. You have the codes, you have all of those mathematic, let's say calculations on paper, showing that it can be done. I mean, you haven't done it yet, but it's possible. And everyone looked at it. A lot of people looked at it and said, I'm not sure it's gonna, it's gonna I'm not sure this is gonna be possible. But yes, we did it. We did it. We made it possible. We showed the world that it is possible. And now finally, state pool operators, you know, could help protect, secure the network. Ada holders, Ada holders could finally choose a stake pool from, of their choice and start staking, earning real rewards every epoch. An epoch is five days. So that means that you are earning your rewards every five days you receive, you're receiving your rewards. Amazing. The thing that I, the thing that I really love about Cardano and the way that they're developing this project, not only that, but the, the way that the wallets are being developed is that it's just simple. You know, there's no technical knowledge. You know, it is developed in a way that any single, every single person can just download the wallet, create, download Daedalus or Yeroi, create a wallet, and then start staking as soon as the wallet is fully synced. It's a very simple process. It's not difficult. Anyone can do it. That's what I like. You know, since the beginning of the year, we've heard Charles Hoskinson say, we are not going to abandon this project. We were. We were contracted to do this and we're going to finish this job. You know, we were all looking forward to voting, you know, to Voltaire on Cardano. We were all looking forward to, you know, to be able to be able to vote and see how that process will work. Now, just a couple of weeks ago, you know, the, the the, the Catalyst app, app was launched and everyone, every ADA holder was finally able to vote. Personally, I voted as well. You know, so we're at the beginning of the year, we said, okay, you know, we're not, we're not at Shelly yet. We're not at Gogan yet. We're not at Basho and we're not, you know, at Voltaire. Guess what? Now at the end, almost at the end of 2020, we can say rightfully, yes, Shelly's launched. Voltaire is here. That rhymes. And guess what? Gogan is not far off. In fact, it is here. Also, throughout the year, they've also opened up the collaboration with Runtime Verification. You know, to reignite Yelly, allowing Ethereum, the Ethereum 
adapts to convert, easily convert to Cardano. Um, this is a big thing because the thing is with Ethereum, Ethereum 1.0, there's so many flaws, you know, within its code. And every single project, every single, let's say, uh, everything built on top of Ethereum inherits the flaws, you know, of its parent. So what Cardano offers is much better, much safer, much faster, more scalable than what Ethereum can offer. The teams behind of Cardano, they were, they're all visionaries. You know, it's not, okay, let's just code, let's just build, let's just develop. Nah, you know, they were thinking ahead. They knew exactly where they're going because the roadmap was very clear. They knew exactly, they knew that we have the sites. They knew that they have all that it takes to make this possible. You know, and what I do, and I've been saying this, you know, to some of you for quite some time. When you have a test environment, right? And you're in, you, and you're having all of these talks, you know, building these partnerships. You can actually show them. You can, you actually have something that you can show to them that it actually works, even if it's just in a test environment. It's not actually on the mainnet, but it's in the test environment. And on while it's on the test environment, you can show them all of these functionalities that you've been working on throughout the years. All of those science, you know, you've been coding, you know, turning into code and showing that it actually works. You all of those simulations, you can show and prove to them we have what it takes in terms of scalability. We have what it takes when it comes to interoperability, and we have what it takes when it comes to governance. I believe strongly that in the background, the teams have had all the advantages because they have something to actually sell. They can talk to many different companies, you know, Y2X, you know, they can talk to Y2X, they can talk to PYC, they can bring in many people and show them, guys, listen, this is mainnet, this is the mainnet, yes, but we also have a test net, you know, and on the test net, we've been testing a lot of new features before we actually bring them to mainnet. So a lot of those, let's say, features that have been based on the research that we've been doing for many years, check. We've actually implemented them on the test net to see if they actually will work. And slowly but surely, you know, things are being moved to mainnet. So when speaking to all of these larger corporations, I believe that Cardano, I believe a team behind Cardano have had something to prove. Now, I, I believe that the team behind Cardano have had something to show to these people. And that's why a lot of these larger corporations, you know, really want to work with Cardano. It's not a fairy tale. You know, Cardano is not a fairy tale. Cardano is being developed, you know, very wisely. Yes, step by step. I mean, we, that's what you and I see but we don't see what's happen what happens behind, behind the doors. We don't see what happens behind the scenes, but yet there's a lot going on. So as we enter into 2021, yes, there's a lot, a lot of things that I believe that's gonna happen, definitely. By the end of Q1, we should see the launch of Golden. We, we heard already IOG, you know, said that there are a couple of businesses who are lined up to start building on Cardano. There's large entities who actually contacted him personally to ask if they can start building on Cardano. Yes. When the launch of Gogan will come with a few dApps on it. Yes, definitely. And again, I do want to thank everyone you know, for supporting Cardano throughout 2020. And I wanna thank you in advance for staying with us through 2021. 2021 is gonna be an amazing year. I'm looking forward to it. 
Yes, and the people that worked with me, they too as well. So, Happy New Year.